Hindi kumpleto ang kasaysayan ng telebisyon sa Pilipinas kung wala ang IBC-13. Dahil karamihan sa mga programa ngayon sa TV, mga konsepto, mga artista, pati na rin mga tao sa likod ng kamera ay may koneksyon sa stasyong ito. Ako po si Chiki Roa Puno. Mag-throwback muna tayo sa nali at alamin natin ang kwento ng IBC-13, the original number one. Taong 1959 nang magbukas ang Inter-Island Broadcasting Corporation sa P. Guevara Street sa San Juan. Noong February 1, 1975, sa ilalim ng bagong may-ari na si Roberto S. Benedicto, nabigyan ng bagong mukha at pangalan ang TV station, ang Intercontinental Broadcasting Corporation. Ang malawak na broadcast city sa Capitol Hills, Diliman, Quezon City ang naging tahanan ng IBC-13 kasama ang RPN-9 at BBC-2 simula 1978. It was my father who wanted it to be in one compound because when we were going around uh, the states, we were looking at you know, mga 20th century, they had their own you know, compound. And, And I told him, Dad, pwede tayong kumita dyan, no? yung mga stage, yung mga ano, tapos yung mga sets, pwede natin, you know, it can be a tourist spot. So, yun, doon nag-umpisa. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Okay, at that time, Channel 13 had no identity. So when we came in, we always thought of uh, what will make us different from the other channels. Tatlo lang kami. It was Buddy Tan who was number one. Johal Andoan was the general manager and a funny man. So he, he fitted into the Channel 13 format so perfectly. And I was there to make my comments, to to think of some, you know, mag-isip ng kwan together with, uh, with uh, the directors, the writers. Joel and Don, who is the cousin of, uh, of Buddy Tan, he's a funny guy, he's a very nice man. Uh, he was the one who thought of uh, putting Tarzan. Kasi kulang sila ng programa, wala pang budget, wala pang ganito. So, sabi niya, and I was in charge of films at that time, so uh, they discussed it with Buddy, and Buddy asked me na, Daya, ano, maganda siguro Tarzan? Sige, sabi ko, gusto-gusto ko yung Tarzan. When Channel 13 started broadcasting Tarzan, it became number one and stayed number one for quite some time. It was sustained by a school book call and chicks to chicks at that time. Pero kailan pa, Vic? Kailan pa? Baka maging huli na ang tulong mo sa amin. Tsaka yung pag-iisipan mo. Sapagat ngayon ay first day na ng classes at sa makalawa ay last day na ng enrollment. Baka hindi mo makausap si Ms. Tapia. Aanyin mo pa ang damo kung hindi na pwedeng mag-enroll ang kabayo. Kuha mo. Huwag nyo nang papupuntahin sa opisina at huwag kayo ang i-interview. Dito sa bahay ang punta. Magpalagay dyan, magpaskel tayo dyan. Kailangan ng katulong at huwag sa opisina dahil puro palpak ang ginagawa ninyo. Yes, sweetheart. Sa pagbabalik ng The Original Number One. Nagarap kami ng bag bagong director para bago ideas. So sabi ko, sige, why not? Uh, ang naging magkapatid kami ni Tito sa Escalera Brothers. Alam mo si Vic ang uh, naging abogado, si Ungasis. Kasi immigrant ako noon. <laughs> eh ngayon, nung inalok niya sa akin itong Cheeks to Cheeks, at nagkwento siya ano ang format, yung ganon, nagustuhan ko. 